Are you ready to put our plan against the Mother Cardinal in motion? Remind me of the outline of your plan, Father. You will have to take part in a fight in the arena. And we must make sure that the odds are high. To do this, you'll have to face a champion. This will lure her in. That would effectively raise the odds. But the risk is they'll bet against me. That may be the case. But the highest bets are based on the exact time of the defeat. I see. We are going to make the Mother Cardinal believe that I will lose at a specific time. And by doing so, you'll win something bigger than a fight. This will make her lose a considerable amount. Exactly. I've even taken measures to make sure her usual moneylender is unavailable. Without knowing it, she will come to me looking for gold in order to place her bet. And she will be at our mercy. Is this how you settle scores in Teleme? This is how all scores are settled, my child. Or on the battlefield. But that's much dirtier. So, what do you say? It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. We should get ourselves to the coin tavern in New Serene. That's where all the bets and the fights take place. Good day! Interested in making a little wager? Unless you'd rather fight. I would like to confront a champion in the arena. <laughs> and I'd like to sleep in golden sheets. You're quite the joker, you are. Why don't you start by showing me a little of what you're made of? Make a name for yourself and then we'll talk. And when, in your opinion, do you think I'd have a reputation? You would need to reach the third challenge ranking in the arena. That will give the public the time to start liking you. Very well. That's what I'll do, then. I will leave you alone until your reputation in the arena is established. There's no point in me following your trail for days. Yes, that's wiser. It could take some time. Let me know if you need me. Of course, Petrus. Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. My lords and ladies, here is a new team of fighters taking to our proud arena. Give them a hearty welcome. Maybe it likes to protect me in this battle. Bit of poison on my face. And let's go. Let's see if you can walk off this faint. Take a potion if you want to cast more spells. Excellent. 
and the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You saw them win the first challenge with audacity, and here they are again for the second. Public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Here for your greatest pleasure, our team of excellence. Once again, kill us! Kill us! Kill us! Appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. Good day! Interested in making a little wager? Unless you'd rather fight. I'd like to talk again to you about fighting one of your champions. I must say that you've done well for yourself since we last met. The public seems to like you. It could be interesting. One of my champions has been vying for a chance to shine again. He hasn't made much noise of late, but he's a very good fighter. And his name is quite well known in these parts. The old brute against the chief of our excellencies. The bets are going to pour. 
What do you say? It's precisely what I need. Perfect. It'll be a duel. You'll fight alone. So prepare yourself well. So whenever you're ready, go and find the arena master and give us a thrill. We should go and see Candy Cane so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Remember, my child, the bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. That's true. You're right. Let's come back later. You again? What do you want this time? I have a very lucrative proposal for you. You know that I have to fight against the champion. Everyone knows. You are expected to lose in one minute. I'm well aware of that. I know my opponent is too strong for me. But let's suppose my opponent draws out the fight a bit. For the beauty of the battle, of course. I'm starting to see what you're alluding to. This fight doesn't interest me. The odds against you are so high, I wouldn't get much out of it. But if we make all the gamblers lose, by letting you hang in there a little longer, we could win a nice little nest egg. Organizing this will entail some costs for me. It's better to add a bonus. Without the bonus, there's no deal. If you pay me in advance, you won't be tempted to play any tricks. So, get your wallet out. If this seals our deal, it's worth it. Here, take this. Excellent. Don't you worry now. Everything will be fixed for the fight. I think that one of my special clients will also be interested in our little arrangement. Be careful not to tell too many people, so that the odds don't drop too low. Ready to excite the crowd. Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena. And may the better fighter win. spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. Thank you. It wasn't easy. And here are your winnings from the combat. 
<laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelius seems to do you wonders. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game, and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will. Lord de Sade, and you, Petrus, what can I do for you? We have come to offer our support. We have learned that the arena was cruel to you. How do you know that? Oh, I see. You tricked my informer. We just let him believe that I would lose. All I did was take the place of your money lender. You owe me a handsome sum. All of this just to make me spill the beans, am I right? I didn't expect you to play this kind of game, Your Excellency. It is true, though, that with such a teacher... Oh, come on, Cornelia. You excel at this game. It's true. And I also know when to admit defeat. What do you want from me? We won't use what we know of you, nor what you owe us. So long as you act loyally towards the congregation and Constantine. Is that clear? Is that what you're expecting? Ah, but I'm sure that this sly old fox has something else in mind, right? You hope that I'll support you when you court the rank of cardinal. You haven't learnt your lesson, then. Have you forgotten the abyss into which you plunged because of your ambition last time? Petrus, what is she talking about? Cornelia... You don't have the right to use that against me to disclose what I revealed to you that day. It was said under the seal of the Enlightened. It's true. But if someone deserves to know, it's him. No, please. Since you have no intention of speaking, I will. Petrus knew your mother, child. Your real mother. My mother? Petrus, is this true? How? Be damned, Cornelia. It's true. I knew your mother. I used to go to the jail to give my spiritual support to the prisoners of the Prince d'Orsay. That's where I met her. She was alone, afraid, and exhausted. And so strange. Obviously, I had no way of knowing that she came from here. The princes kept their secret well. Why didn't you tell me about it? You knew that my uncle lied to me and you kept quiet. I... I was ashamed. Ashamed of having left her to die in that dead-end pit. Completely alone. Why talk to others about it then? Why does she know? One evening, in a fit of despair, Petrus felt the need to share this great burden with someone. At the time, you were the ear of the enlightened, Cornelia. You have broken your vows. Ah, oh, damnation. It's better out in the open. I've wanted to tell you about it since I met you. Now that you know, I want to do something in her memory. I will help you find your family here on the island. The prince sent you here to use you. But I can ensure that all of this serves a purpose. How could I possibly believe you now? You have used me for your scheming and kept me in the dark. I understand how you feel, my child. 
Let's wait a little, until you've taken it all in. Time heals the wounds of the soul. Come back and see me when you are ready. As for you, Cornelia, remember what we have on you. You no longer have the upper hand. Be careful, Desade. You now see the real Petrus, sly and opportunistic.